Hello everyone and welcome to Georgia. For the past several videos, I've been working my way through North and South Carolina, visiting the final resting place of NASCAR and professional wrestling personalities. And that theme is going to continue in this video. Today, I'm at Design Hill Baptist Church Cemetery, Cummings, Georgia. When I put this stop on my list, I wasn't sure that I would be able to find the church, let alone the grave that I would be looking for. But I decided to give it a shot. This is a small country church in the coordinates that I got off of Find the Grave for several miles off. But thanks to Google Maps, I found the correct coordinates and was able to navigate to the church. The adjacent church cemetery is rather small. And after a few minutes of searching, I was able to find the grave that I was looking for. The final resting place of the man professional wrestling fans know as Crusher Black. Jerry Blackwell was born on April 26, 1949 in Stone Mountain, Georgia. He began his professional wrestling career in 1974, appearing in several independent promotions throughout the Southeast before moving to Pennsylvania. We became known as the Mountain from Stone Mountain. In 1978, Jerry signed to appear for the World Wrestling Federation, where he battled such stars as Larry Zabisco, Andre the Giant, and Bob Brackley. In the early 80s, Jerry left the WWF for the AWA, where he enjoyed his greatest success, becoming a main event wrestler and feuding with the likes of Greg Gagne, Jim Brunzel, and Ken Patera. One of the most notable moments in his career came in 1984 during the Battle Royal at the St. Paul Civic Center in St. Paul, Minnesota. After he won the Battle Royal, he was attacked and triple teamed by the Abdullah the Butcher, Sheik Adnan LKC, and Bruiser Brody. This was not part of the script. The in-ring beating continued backstage where the three continued to pummel Jerry until Dusty Rhodes and Kurt Henning came to his aid. This gigantic feud allowed Jerry to change his image, becoming a fan favorite, and he quickly became one of the AWA's most popular wrestlers. As his popularity grew, so did the demand, and over the next couple of years, those demands began to take its toll. Jerry was always a very large individual. Most of his career, he weighed over 450 pounds, which led to a number of health problems, including diabetes. In the late 80s, health and physical problems really took their toll on Jerry, and he was forced to slow down. He was relegated to the undercards and an occasional dark match. His health and physical woes were compounded in December of 1994 when he was injured in a car crash. Those injuries, along with numerous health problems, finally claimed his life. Jerry Crusher Blackwell passed away January the 22nd, 1995, at the young age of 45. Well, that's about it for this video. If you remember Crusher Jerry Blackwell, let me hear from you in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. There are more videos like this coming, so if you want to be notified when I post new content, be sure to ring that bell and subscribe. Until next time, remember, life's a journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it. I'll see you down the road. So long, everyone.